Here is my 2025 MacBook Pro with the M5 chip. I want to show you how to set this up and transfer everything from your old MacBook. Okay, now this old MacBook is a MacBook Pro 2022 and it has the M2 chip. So the M2 chip to the M5 chip. Now what we'll do eventually is we'll transfer everything using the migration assistant. We'll be able to use our Wi-Fi to transfer everything or we'll be able to use a cable like this Thunderbolt 3. So first thing is go ahead and boot up your M5 and you have the hello screen. Go ahead and tap a key. And then from here you want to choose your language. I'm going to go with English here. And I'm going to select that. This is the new MacBook Pro as well. Select your country or region. I'm in the US, United States. So I'll select that. I'll tap on continue. Now this window here is transfer your data to this Mac. How do you want to transfer your information? You can do it from a Mac, Time Machine, or Startup. We're going to do from a Mac. Or you can do from a Windows PC or computer. Or you can set up with an iPhone or iPad. Or you can just set up as new, just a clean install. But for us, we're going to transfer from an old MacBook. So we're going to select the first one from a Mac. And then we're going to tap on Continue right there. Here's accessibility. You can go ahead and read through these if you need any of these. For me, I don't need it. I'll just click on Not Now. I can always set up later after settings if I wish. From here, we're going to select the Wi-Fi network. Both of the uh, MacBooks have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So let me select my Wi-Fi network here. Let me put in my Wi-Fi password. After you put in your Wi-Fi password, tap on Join. It's connecting, a little spinny thing down there. Now we're at Data and Privacy. Go ahead and read through that. You can learn more, learn more by selecting this, and then go ahead and tap on Continue. Now we get this window here, it says transfer data to this Mac. So now we have to do now is we have to go to the old MacBook and we have to bring up the migration assistance. So on the old MacBook, I'm gonna go on the search here. I'm gonna type in migration, M -I oh, migration assistant. Let's select that. There we go. And then from down here, you wanna go ahead and select on continue. Then you wanna put in your your password to the old MacBook and then select OK. Now this window pops up, Migration Assistant. Okay, now be very careful with this one. Now it says this is the old MacBook. How do you want to transfer your information? From a Mac, Time Machine, or Startup Disk? No. From a Windows computer or PC? No, we don't want to do that. But to another Mac. That's what we want to select on this old MacBook Pro, okay? So we're gonna go to another Mac, and then we're gonna tap on Continue right there. And then once I do that, hey, look at that. It found it on the new MacBook Pro. So from here, I'm gonna go down on the new MacBook. I'm gonna tap on Continue. And now I get these digits that pop up. They both match, so I'm gonna go back to the old one here and tap on Continue. Now, all of a sudden, I get a new window that pops up on the new MacBook. The old MacBook is still doing this, the new one. So the new one is calculating how much uh, storage that I'm gonna transfer, okay? The thing is, like, it'll show up the number, how, I think there's like 700 gigs I'm gonna transfer, but you have to make sure that the new MacBook that you have enough space on there. I have like one TB, one terabyte on there. If I didn't have uh, more than 700 on this one to transfer everything, then I would probably delete some things, delete photos and videos and whatnot. Anyway, this is still calculating. You just have to be patient here. Okay, so it's complete here and it wants to transfer everything from this old computer to this new one. It's gonna be like 721 gigs. Okay, now this computer over here is just still on that right there. So from here, we got enough space. We can go ahead and continue, or you can always select select these. You can go and delete stuff, your photos, some documents to, um, to free up some space if you wish. But anyway, I'm good with transferring everything just like this. And I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna tap on continue. And now I have to set a password for this new MacBook, okay? So I'm gonna go over here. Click set password. Your old password from the old computer doesn't get transferred, but you can put in the same password as your old computer if you wish, okay? You gotta put it in the password twice. 
Okay, I just put it in twice. I confirmed that last one and I'm gonna tap on set password. And now I'm gonna tap on continue. Terms and conditions, go ahead and read through all that. And if you agree, go ahead down here and tap on agree, agree. Now both of the MacBooks are doing this and now it needs to calculate. Right now it says peer to peer. Let me go down here and type on connection details right there. And you can see, so right now we're using Wi-Fi. I'm only getting 57 megabits per second, the transfer. At 57 seconds or 57 megabits per second at like 700 gigs, I mean, that's probably gonna take me like eight, nine, maybe 10 hours of transfer, okay? So what I wanna do is speed this up. So I can leave this here for like 10 or 11 hours until it's all complete or I can speed everything up with my USB-C to USB cable. This is a Thunderbolt 3. I'll put the link below in the description area. I got this on Amazon. But if I use this, instead of waiting like 10 hours, it should be like 30 minutes. So one end, I'll plug into the new MacBook here, USB-C, and the other end, I'll plug into the old MacBook. Now I just did that. Now on the new MacBook, remember before I said peer-to-peer, -peer, now it says Thunderbolt. Okay, let's go ahead and down here, connection details. Let's select that right there. And now you can see I'm getting like 2,800 megabits per second versus the 50 megabits per second or whatnot, okay? And it's automatically gonna to connect to the fastest available one, which is this one here, okay? So we're looking good. Now eventually once it cal calculates everything, it'll, gi it'll give me like an estimated time here. So now we just have to be patient. And then the other com MacBook is just doing that still. So let's just wait. So now an estimated time pops up here. It says about four hours and 50 minutes. The thing is, it's probably only gonna be like 30 minutes, maybe an hour tops. Just have to wait and this uh, four hours is gonna drop dramatically in the next few minutes. So after that, 30 seconds now, we're at about three hours now and it's still dropping seven minutes, five minutes, three minutes. After waiting another minute, now we're below two hours. After another minute, now we have less than one hour. And after another two minutes, now it says 30 minutes left, so it's probably, that's probably correct. So we got about like 30 minutes or so. Here's the other one, that's what it's doing. Almost there, nine minutes left. All right, migration, it says it's complete on both of them here, and now it's gonna restart automatically, or you can go ahead and do it yourself. I'll just go ahead and restart myself. Now on the old MacBook, we're just gonna select done right there. And now let me just sign into the old MacBook. So it looks like we're done with the old MacBook, and now we're waiting for this to boot up. Migration is complete. I'm gonna log in to the new MacBook now. Software update is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and select continue. And to set up um, iCloud, I gotta put in my password, then tap on continue. Apple Intelligence, you can go ahead and set it up over here or you can just tap set up later, which I will do. Your Mac is ready for File Vault. File Vault keeps your Mac safe from encrypting your data and protecting it with password you use to log in. If you forget your password, you can use recovery key to reset it. So that's up to you. Most of you guys will turn it on for myself. I will go with no or not now. And I will continue. Touch ID, basically your fingerprint ID. I had one on the old computer, but it doesn't get transferred, so you have to set up a new one. So I'm gonna set this one up now. I'll tap on continue, and I'll put my finger on this key, the power button, and I'm just gonna keep bringing my finger up and down, and then I'm gonna go on the edges here. Just keep going until all this goes up in red. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and tap on continue. Welcome to Mac OS Tile 26. You can go ahead and proceed through all that if you wish. For myself, I will just skip this part. Get a welcome screen, tap on any key, and voila. Looks like my folders transferred over. Everything looks good.
So I just checked the storage. Everything did transfer. There's like 750 gigs. But anyway, so now it's complete, okay? So now I can use both of them. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to factory reset the old one, and I'm going to sell it, and I'm just going to continue to use the new one. Questions or comments, uh, just comment below.